On September 6, the PLA Daily newspaper republished an article with an alarming title, Strict Demands, Strict in All Aspects, and Strict to the Extreme. The term strict appeared 79 times and discipline appeared 23 times throughout the text. Yao Chang, a former Navy lieutenant commander in the People's Liberation Army, PLA, believed that Xi Jinping had sounded the alarm about political security in the Communist Party. Yao said the wavering, fatigue, and boredom in war preparation in the article shows that the CCP's continuous emphasis on war preparation has made the military very anxious. In other words, the Chinese military is weary of war. Xi Jinping, the chairman of the CCP's Central Military Commission, has made them uncomfortable so the military may consider changing leadership. Therefore, Xi Jinping is concerned about a coup or an assassination attempt. Conspiracy and assassination attempts are always imminent. Since Xi Jinping came to power and began implementing a series of strict anti-corruption actions, he has faced assassination attempts and coup conspiracies one after another. It is rumored that Xi Jinping has met such danger at least 10 times, mainly related to assassination plots. Among them, at least five incidents related to food. In December 2017, Xi Jinping was hospitalized due to stomach pain, which was also associated with food. Additionally, when Xi Jinping traveled, he encountered at least four traffic accidents, mostly hidden incidents on flights. Trend magazine in Hong Kong once posted out that all assassination attempts on Xi Jinping resulted from internal conflicts within the party. It seems that CCP officials themselves hired assassins to eliminate Xi. The CCP security organization is said to have issued 16 security warnings, including four related to Xi's movements in Beijing, including visits to the municipal government offices. Therefore, a significant overhaul of the Central Security Bureau, the organization responsible for ensuring the security of Xi Jinping and other leaders, was conducted in early March 2015. Escape Attempt Wang Lijun, former deputy mayor and police chief of southwestern city Chongqing, the right-hand man of Bo Shilai, the city's Communist Party chief, went to the U.S. consulate in Chengdu on February 6, 2012 to seek asylum. To substantiate his claim, Wang sent photos of himself and those of his subordinates who have been secretly arrested and tortured to death, along with the video presenting Bo's assassination plot by staging an incident resembling a suicide, a car accident, disappearance, or gunfire during that time, related to false criminal charges. His revelations about a political plot to carry out a coup by the faction of the former Communist Party Secretary Jiang Zumin, a former Communist Party secretary, led to the downfall of Bo Shilai and many others. The CCP arrested six people and closed 16 websites accused of spreading rumors about the coup. Gunshots were heard on the night of March 19, 2012, four days after Bo was stripped of his power and soldiers were seen advancing into Beijing. One version of the story is that Zhou Yangkang ordered armed police to besiege Zhang Nanhai in an attempt to carry out a coup, but was suppressed by the 38th Army stationed in Baodin province, possibly ordered by Hu Jintao. Another version of this shows shots were fired when the Central Discipline Inspection Commission, CCDI, and Joe's police both tried to control a crucial witness in Bo's case. On October 28, 2013, three days after the Supreme Court rejected Bo Shilai's appeal, a military vehicle exploded in Tiananmen Square. It is believed that the police knew in advance about the impending attack. Assassination Attempts after Bo's arrest, leaders closely associated with Jiang Zumin feared that they could be targeted next, planned to assassinate Xi Jinping under Jiang's direction. Zhang Qinghang, former vice president, and Zhou Yongkang's close aide were part of the plot. As a result, two assassination attempts were carried out. Two assassination attempts In the first attempt, a time bomb was placed in the meeting room after Chu Ving Kang was retired and criticized by retired officials at the Baidaihu Summer Summit. Xi Jinping left the venue and headed to the National People's Congress meeting for the 18th National Congress. The second attempt involved injecting poison into Xi Jinping while undergoing a health check at the PLA Hospital, 301st Military Hospital. Tang Hong, the assistant and bodyguard of Chu Vin Kang, executed these plans, and the Central Police Bureau arrested him after the incident came to light. In another incident, Bak Shun, a Chinese-language citizen journalism website, reported that Chinese Vice President Xi Jinping and Hu Guoqing, a member of the Political Bureau and Secretary of the CCDI, were injured in two separate road accidents on the evening of September 4, 2014. These accidents sparked rumors of a possible assassination attempt related to the fallen politician Bo Shilai. 
Bashun's story was deleted from the website within two hours of being posted. Adding weight to the news, Xi Jinping canceled a meeting on September 5, 2014, with U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, the Prime Minister of Singapore, and a Russian official, reportedly due to injuries to his back. Xi Jinping is believed to have lost consciousness after a collision in which his car was sandwiched between two off-road jeeps. The accident is said to have occurred in Beijing, and she was taken to the PLA hospital. The Tiantan explosion occurred on August 12, 2015, resulting in 158 deaths and 15 missing persons. Xi Jinping viewed it as a political conspiracy to strike a heavy blow at the central authority he was leading. The explosion occurred just three weeks before the September 3, 2015 military parade, a significant public event during Xi's presidency tarnishing his image. Although the event was meant to commemorate Japan's defeat in World War II, it was also seen as the equivalent of a coronation for an ambitious leader in China. In China, a top leader doesn't secure a powerful position until they preside over a parade where they receive salutations from various units of the PLA. An emerging perspective suggests that the types of explosives used in the PLA should not have been found near any hazardous material storage facilities, at least partially accounting for the extraordinary power of the explosions. Suspicion was directed towards dozens of high-ranking PLA officers, backed by two former political bureau members and deputy CMC chairman, the late General Tu Tai Hao and General Chuash Ba Hong. Jiang Zemin's involvement as the patron of these two generals cannot be ignored. After a five-year investigation, the CCP eliminated Xi's opponents. Nineteen people were arrested on charges of conspiracy to overthrow the Communist Party. Among them were key figures related to Bo Xilai, former secretary of the Communist Party of Chongqing, and Zhou Yangkang, former secretary of the Communist Party of China's Political and Legal Affairs Committee. Zhou was sentenced to life in prison, while Bo was sentenced to death and executed. Under Xi's rule, the situation has evolved into a war of extermination. Although these incidents are not widely reported in the media, they are part of China's ongoing political chaos. However, there is no evidence to suggest that the CCP, the police, and the military are fully supporting Xi. Despite Xi's crackdown on political opponents and increasing pressure on Xi's rivals, they are still active within the party. In the future, more unpredictable situations may arise.